Hi everyone, welcome back to an episode of Tuesday Tips. I am Tabitha from the education team. Today what we want to do is really dive into conversations. We're going to spend the next couple Tuesdays looking at the different things that you can do within your conversations platform to make it work for your business. So what we want to do today to really kick things off is look at what the unified inbox has to offer from a contact perspective and from a management perspective. One thing that we wanna start with is actually assigning an agent to a conversation. So you'll see here, we have a conversation with Jana, and it looks like we missed the communication with her. She chatted us, hey, we followed up with an automated message, but what we wanna do now is actually touch base to make sure that all of her questions are answered. The best way that we can do that is actually utilize the email part to type an email to her. Maybe we have a saved response in here that we wanna utilize, but we want, to, we want to message her nonetheless. What I'm going to do is actually assign this to one of my agents so that she can actually reach out to her and then start the conversation back up and make sure that all of Jana's questions are answered. So Emily now has gotten a notification that she's been assigned to the conversation and she's gonna follow up with Jana. Another thing that you can see here is as you start to have these conversations with your contacts or potential customers, you can start to manage a lot of their contact information. So you'll see all of Darren McKay's contact information that you've chosen to view lives right here. You're able to click on the gear and choose exactly what contact fields you want to see in your conversations window pane. Now, it's not only contact fields, but it's web chat information. You've also chosen here to see tags and then to see any deals associated with the contact. The great thing about this is that you're able to really view this information super easily and then toggle to the deal if necessary. You're really having and taking an opportunity to make sure that all information is updated based on the conversations that you're having with your contacts. There's a lot of different ways that you can start to manage your window panes, that you can manage your unified inbox. These are just a couple best practices. Like I said, we'll dive into this over the next couple Tuesdays, but if you're creatively using the unified inbox in any way, please let us know. We're always super excited to hear about the different ways that you're utilizing the platform and have a great week.